Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Coslix. Today we're doing a spear combo tutorial. I'm gonna be going over the best combos on spear, all the true combos, a couple strings, and how to use them. If you do enjoy this type of content in these combo tutorials and whatnot, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, comment down below. Let's get right into this. So the first most basic string, and this is something that you should learn if you are brand new to spear, and this is a two dodge frame string, so it doesn't work at a professional level, but in silver and gold, this could be quite reliable. It is side light, down light. It is two dodge frames if you time it properly, and it's just a really basic string that visually looks appealing, if that makes sense. Like, it's pretty obvious to see that a side light lines it up into a down light, so it's very fluid. And it's the first thing you should practice if you are new to spear. Uh, again, it's just very fluid. Definitely something to learn and works at silver. But the second thing I'm going to be going over is your main combo starter. And your main combo starter is spear downlight. Downlight will lead into the most consistent follow-ups out of any move on spear. Uh, it doesn't pick up grounded, but spear downlight is a pretty easy move to land. I'm just going to set the bot to jump just to make it a bit easier because spear down light if I show you guys just in slow motion right here as you can see it will not pick up when I'm just straight on the ground like that. It's a little bit higher that's called an anti-air. It hits people who are in the air so anti-air. Anyways so your first combo with spear down light is down light side air. It looks like this. It's a true combo that works at every single health range. It's also a kill option. Eventually it won't work because Spear has something called variable force. Spear Downlight has variable force, which means the further they are in red, the more force they take. But it's a very little amount of variable force, so something like that will start to no longer be true once you hit moves like 250, you know? You won't be experiencing that in a game, so the, the furthest you'll go into a game is around 200 damage, and Downlight Sayer still works. So we're gonna call it true at all health, but how you input this combo is Dominating. you input a Downlight, and then while you're holding Downlight, so while the Downlight is hitting, so about these frames here, you're gonna wanna hold sideways, and then you're gonna wanna click on the jump button, and your attack button, light attack button, at the exact same time. A lot of people make mistakes by clicking one after another. They do jump and then side air, when realistically, it should be all at the exact same time. You hold sideways and you click them at the same time. So, in here, you can see this is when I'm holding sideways, okay? So I input a down light. Then once I hit the move, I'm holding sideways. And then right when the move is done, as you can see, I'll start going into these blue frames right here. So that's still the down light. And then see right here, I'm blue. That's when you're going to want to click on the jump and attack button at the same time while holding sideways. And as you can see, oh, it kind of dropped just because the replay system. But as you can see right here, the blue frames and then I jump and see how one frame after it's the side input that means that you click them at the exact same time because it will always start by jumping the first frame and then it will do a light attack the second frame and you also get jump height momentum and that's why you're able to land it so again down light side air click them at the exact same time on controller i just click a and x with my thumb at the exact same time keyboard you're just gonna have to time the button pressing at the exact same time it's not the hard it's not that hard of a combo once you get used to it but uh it's your most consistent combo on spear it's a kill option that does damage you need to learn this if you want to get good at spear anyways the next combo this is a little bit harder but it's a bit more efficient than downlight cider at killing it is downlight recovery so it's downlight jump recovery and it's the exact same thing you're gonna want to click on jump and recovery about the exact same time while you're in the down light you're going to want to hold up and it's all about timing it properly 
but a big thing is uh, at least for controller players is you want to click on jump and recovery at the same time and a and b are hard to click at the exact same time so what i like to do is i like to slide my thumb from a to b really quickly i don't know if you guys can hear that if you're not a controller player don't worry about it but all you got to do is practice timing and just slide from a to b really quickly that was bad timing right there by me boom right there the next combo and this is more of a string not a true combo that you're going to want to learn is down light into gravity cancel down light into either side air or recovery it's going to look something like this that's it right there or it's going to look like that and the reason why it's good is it does more damage in a longer combo so it's more optimal the only problem is is it's not a true combo however it's an insane read so if you do this for instance they can dodge out of it okay if i set the bot to dodge so it doesn't really matter what reaction he has for dodging see how he can dodge out of it pretty easily but if the bot doesn't have a dodge, he's either going to not do anything, or if your opponent doesn't have a dodge, you're either not going to do anything or they're going to do a jump reaction. So if I do this, you saw that the opponent jumped. So the opponent tried to jump here, but the down light still covers it. So what that means is, is if your opponent doesn't have a dodge, you can do the gravity cancel down light and it will be confirmed every time. So a big reason why this is important is moves like neutral light on spear and side light can be used to catch dodges. So let me show you what I mean exactly. We're going to set this AI to stand and we're going to set this, do this AI to dodge down. Okay. So watch this. If I do a side light, you see how the bot dodges down. That means he used up a dodge and no longer has a dodge. So right when you catch a dodge read down, you can do side light down light. That catches, like that's not, or that's dodgeable, but it's not jumpable. So side light down light is confirmed and the gravity cancel down light is confirmed. So watch this. Side light, side light, down light, GC down light. Okay, there he got the dodge back because I didn't do it fast enough. But let's say we do a move, like let's say the the bot does a spot dodge for instance there the, okay here's the thing perfect timing they can dodge out of it but let's say you do like a ser or like ser okay wait ser dodge side light down light gc okay you got it back um okay keep in mind 99 percent of the time a player will not know how to dodge at the exact same time that they get it so they'll use one dodge and then they're screwed. So let's just set the dodge reaction to be up. We go side light, he dodges up. I can do a GC down light to follow it up. Um, an easier dodge reaction, let's go to the left. Okay, watch this. Side light, down light, GC down light side air. And the reason why he didn't have a dodge again that time is because one, we didn't do the side light. But two, he didn't touch the ground. You get dodges back quicker when you touch the ground and not in the air i can't remember the exact number of seconds but the point is is if you get a dodge read whoopsie gc downlight is confirmable and it's really smart to do it because it's extra damage and it's free you know like it's free damage if you can get the dodge read right there and if you want a really long combo then you can do like side light into side light down light gc down light people won't dodge out of it the odds of people dodging out of it with that timing, even at professional levels, is super slim. So go ahead and do it. Again, bots are frame perfect for the most part. So don't worry too much about it. But yeah, when they don't have a dodge, do G downlight GC downlight. It's very important. And people in silver and gold will not know how to dodge it anyways. So it's really good. Whoopsie. It's really good to do a combo like this. Because Again, people in silver and gold don't know what they're doing a lot of the time. So practice that combo. It's really good and you get a lot of damage in a long combo. The next combo you need to learn is Ser into neutral light. And this only really works in whitish. It's just straight up side air into neutral light. 
Not the hardest combo to learn. Maybe the easiest combo on Spear. Somehow I managed to mess it up two times in a row. But the point of this is it also sets up for a dodge read. So after you do that, an opponent will most likely dodge after it. So I'm going to set the AI to dodge randomly. Watch this. See how he spot dodged? Right there, right there. I did the Sarah and Light, and then I watched him spot dodge. And right when I saw him spot dodge, I'm like, okay, I can side light or whatever. The, the replay system's really bugged. Anyways, I would watch him dodge and then hit him for it, if that makes sense. So that's the importance of the combo, is you can use it to catch dodges like that. And then you get the side light, the down light, and the sair all confirmable. So practice sair into neutral light, and then practice following up, but wait a second for your opponent to do something and then hit them for it. It's called catching reaction. It's something not a lot of players do, but the players at the top are starting to learn it and adapt. Sandstorm is the best at this, and Wrenched is really good at it with Katars. But Saren to Neutral Light sets you up for a situation where you can react. Again, this is really hard to implement into your gameplay, so practice the combos first, and then practice the harder things like reacting to your opponent's attacks. But Saren Neutral Light, Down Light Saren, downlight recovery, etc. All the combos I've listed so far. Just practice them until you can get them 99.9% .9 of the time. The last thing I'm just going to go over is the same thing with side light and light is when you use moves like end light and raw neutral, you can use them for reactions. End light and side light are basically the exact same thing. You let your opponent do something. So I'm going to set the AI to dodge randomly. So neutral light. I saw he dodged up, I down light side air. If I do a side light for instance, I saw he dodged away, I did a side light side air. By the way, side light side air is also a string. There's a lot of strings on spears, so side light side air is one of them. It's six dodge frames, but if your opponent doesn't have a dodge, it's confirmed because there's no jump for you. So it's the same thing, it's just, okay, five dodge frames, my bad. It's, yeah, five. The point is, is, there's also other strings that you can learn, but again, they're not confirmable, but if your opponent doesn't have a dodge, they're almost always confirmable, unless it's jumpable. Another example of a combo that you might want to learn, and this works in about red health, is down light side air. So, or I mean down air side air. 13 dodge frames, but your opponent won't expect it. it might be less dodge frames, but 13 is what I got there. It's definitely above 10 dodge frames. And the point is, is your opponent doesn't expect it, and if they don't have a dodge, it's almost confirmable. Your opponents aren't going to have perfect jump reactions, and they won't know what they're doing. But Dare Side Air is really good. Another one would be like Down Light Nair. If your opponent doesn't have a dodge, you can do Down Light Nair. So we're, I'm going to set him to jump. See that? And what I did there was I did Down Light Chase Dodge Nair. Down Light Chase Dodge towards him. And right as you chase dodge, you're going to want to click on the attack button at the exact same time. It's the same thing with doing the jump there. Instead, you're just dodge there. Like that. And it's two dodge frames if done properly. Keep in mind, he's also in red. So it's two dodge frames at white. But the point is, is if they don't have a dodge, it's confirmable. And it sets you up for another nair and another nair into a recovery, etc. You can kind of go ham with it but it does set you up for further attacks. So there's a lot of strings that you can practice yourselves. You can even make your own strings. A lot of the time, Spear just kind of leads one thing into another thing. For example of this as well, is like end light, side light, that's a string. It's nine dodge frames. If they don't have a dodge, they're probably not gonna get out of it. So kind of just practice going ham, just kind of have fun with certain things. Even dare into dare like this is a string. Almost anything is a string, but just practice having fun and practice the fundamental combos I talked about earlier, downlight cider, uh, downlight recovery, and also the fundamental strings that are low in dodge frames. So like sidelight downlight and downlight GC downlight. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. If this did help you, again, hit that like, maybe share the tutorial for others who want to learn spear. 
and I'm gonna be doing updated tutorials every year or every now and then after like months and months just to keep it updated for you guys because a lot of things do change this could be completely different in a couple months from now I don't even know obviously not completely different but some strings might become more viable D different true combos appear almost every single balance patch for spears and other combos or other weapons anyways thank you again for watching and i'll see you guys all later take care peace